Hi everyone, I'm Danny Scherer. I'm a physician assistant and I'm gonna show you um, ultrasound guided temple um, in layer two. So the reason why I don't typically safe map the temple is because it is high risk and it's easy to get a live guided visual. When I say it's high risk, it's this area is, it's potential for causing blindness. And so I always kind of start with the idea of if it's easy to get an, a live guided visual and it's a high risk area, then that means it's an area that I recommend doing ultrasound guided technique rather than safe mapping. Um, so we always start with the idea of where do we wanna put the filler? So Nikki, I'm gonna have you open your mouth. And this is how I kind of find what I call temple pool. This is how I find the bottom of the pool. I kind of find the deepest recess and I put a little dot there to kind of use as a point of reference. You can close your jaw. And that is where I'm going to be focusing my bolus. So this is actually a ultrasound guided bolus in the temple. And I'm gonna use sub Q, so layer two. Um, you've seen layer four. Um, two is actually, I think, easier to get into. And it's also a great layer to fill. You just wanna use a much more thinned out product. Um, so in order to start the process of an ultrasound guided, the first thing you need to do, we're gonna go in the longitudinal plane with our nubbin up, and we're gonna put it right on top of the area we just found as the middle of temple pool. So what I'm doing here is what I call checking things out in the wild. So I'm kind of interested in getting my Doppler view, and I wanna see how things look in the wild before I do anything. This is also where I plan out my attack for the temple. So I always like to think about it, I use the analogy as like those movies where there's a guy with a machete and he's chopping down the jungle to create a path. So this is kind of like what we're doing here. We've created a very narrow path of a view as to where we're gonna get an in-plane injection with our cannula. So in order to recreate this path, we need to mark the bottom of the probe. So this is where we're gonna you know, tell future visitors that this is the beginning of our jungle path, okay? So I go to the bottom of my probe and I've kind of created a point A to point B scenario. This is my point A, this was the bottom of my probe, and this is the area of my middle marker where I just visualized. So I wanna go from point A to point B and I wanna lay my bolus right in the middle of that pool, which we just looked at. Now, did we see any vessels here along this path? We sort of lucked out because looking at the screen, we're really not seeing vessels. This is a great moment to ask yourself, do you need to find the superficial temporal artery to do this injection? Do you need to find the deep temporal artery to do this injection? We do not because we're gonna use a cannula and we are kind of plotting out our course in this very thin, narrow strip. I'm gonna use a um, tongue depressor to kind of demonstrate this is the path that our cannula is gonna travel, about the thickness of a cannula too. So we do not see those vessels in this thickness, in this path, okay? That's okay. This is not where we need to go find those vessels to do this injection. So Nikki's a great, uh, a great example of lucking out. Um, we don't see those vessels. If we did see those vessels, we would just be very cognizant of where they are and either go above or below them in layer two or layer four. So layer two, we're gonna go really superficially. Um, so because we've plotted out this bottom of our probe, um, that's where I'm gonna put a little wheel of lidocaine because that's where my cannula is gonna enter. Just a tiny little poke, Nikki. Just a little bit of lidocaine. And that's where we're gonna enter. And then after that, we are gonna make our cannula sight. Now while I'm waiting for that to numb up, I'm gonna go back to B mode. Cause when I'm doing ultrasound guided, I really wanna be in B mode. I don't need all that drama of a power Doppler with a cannula going into it because it'll look crazy. Really, we just wanna see that our cannula is in layer two. Um, which is the sub-Q layer right beneath the skin. So I'm gonna make my tiny little introducer site. I don't need to go crazy with it. A lot of times I see people doing crazy stuff with their introducer needle. I think all you need to do is make a tiny little poke. And then I've got my very low G prime product because I'm gonna go superficially. And then to make sure I'm sub-Q, I'm just tacking the skin down 
and just sliding up. And it should be a very easy glide plane. It's very, very easy, usually doesn't hurt. And now you see my point A to point B. There's my point B, that's the depth of my pool. And now I'm gonna go back with my ultrasound and I'm going to make sure that I'm in layer two where I envisioned and I'm exactly in layer two where I wanna be. You can see that's all subcute tissue and you can see my cannula is right there at the top and we can just lay our bolus. Now, if you wanna watch it go live, this is, you can see the anechoic and you can also see what happens on the screen, which is the backtrack of the filler up the cannula. I'm gonna get a little bit better view. And I'm just gonna lay my bolus here, right in that plane. And a lot of times people are wondering, well, it doesn't spread out as much. I actually think it spreads out fine. Um, now that I know I'm in that plane, I can always take it off and watch it fill. And that's a half of a CC of a very low G prime product. And then what I do is I just have her open her jaw again and I just spread it out. And that was our first bolus. Now she is a little hollow, so she could actually probably use a little bit more. But what I do is I usually just start with one syringe and let it get into the tissue and take a look at it before I add any more. Close your jaw for me. And with a nice low G prime tissue, just smushing it down with your thumb a little bit, you're able to have it spread instead of using the cannula up and back. Um, so that is ultrasound guided with a cannula.